Hello, this is the Daily Forex Report for April 19th. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair first. This pair had a very small range today, did create an inside bar. We are looking for this pair to continue its move to the downside, possibly uh, going uh, higher on a reversal and hitting resistance at 83.50, possibly moving lower and hitting support around 81.81. 81. Now looking at the Euro-USD pair, this pair uh, also created an inside bar, pulled back, real close to previous uh, resistance here and support here. We are looking for this pair to potentially uh, uh, or continue to move sideways, potentially going as high as 144.79, possibly as low as 141.38. Look at some resistance uh, at, for this pair around 143.62, possibly hitting support around 142.00. Now the pound US dollar pair, this pair moved to the upside, closed up, overall moving sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 164.42, possibly as low as 161.61. Look for some resistance around 163.50 and look for some support around 162.25. Now the US Swiss, this pair moved to the upside uh, during today's session. We are looking for this pair to Potentially go as high and hit resistance around 0 90.45, possibly moving down and hitting support around 0 98.15. Now, as far as what I'm looking at during this next session, we have the US uh, Japanese yen pair. This pair did create an inside bar. I am looking for a breakout to the downside. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. Looking for this pair to uh, come on down into pretty much this area. Uh, we ha do have an area there that we need to be concerned with. Uh, that's roughly, and then the next area would be right around in here. So first looking to take a short and looking for about 30 pips to the downside from there. Possibly going to break even and looking for an additional 60, which would be 90 total. Let me zoom in, take another look at this. Basically looking to short right here at uh, 82.15. Looking to go ahead and exit and or move to break in even at 81.85. And then potentially moving on down to 81.26. The EURUSD, this pair also created an inside bar. However, uh, the fact that it moved up and it has such a far far distance to travel to break to the upside or the downside, I don't believe we're gonna get a trade there. So when you're looking at inside bars, you really have to evaluate what is going on uh, with those. Now we do have a swing trade set up here. It's probably gonna be too steep of a curve there on the swing trade bar, cutting right through pretty much the open, if you notice right here, of the new bar. This is the swing trade set up here, high, high, and the, the than the previous bar and the bar after it and it uh, or a higher low than the bar before it and after it and a lower low than the bar before it and after it draw your trend line uh, but it cut right through the center so that is not going to be an option so those are some uh, quick rules for uh, swing trade uh, setups as well as inside bar setups and one inside bar setup that I'm looking to trade hope that helps and until next time this is Jason Fielder good trading